How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. So Hawkeye season one just ended this morning and this is going to be my review on it. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video or like it showed at the beginning of the video, this will contain spoilers. So tread lightly if you haven't seen it yet. It's going to contain major spoilers. So maybe actually just click off. So let's just get started. I really, really like this show. I think it was very well done. I think that WandaVision had more of the sort of week to week craziness than this did. But I think I this and WandaVision are pretty much tied as my two favorite Marvel shows of the entire year. I wasn't a big fan of Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I thought Loki was okay, and same with What If, but this really surprised me with how good it was. For one, they introduced Kate Bishop in this, and I think that she was very, very well done as a character. I liked her from the moment that she got on screen, and I'm very excited to see how they use her in most likely the Young Avengers coming up. Uh, I thought Clint was very great as well. Whenever he was on screen with Kate, it's not like he was outshined in my opinion. I thought that they were pretty much equals and Jeremy Renner did such a good job and same with the writing of making Clint just so professional and just so obviously good at everything he's doing and I thought that was very interesting. Yelena is also just phenomenal in the show. I think I might like her as much if not more than I liked her in Black Widow and I thought she was very very good in that. In fact probably the highlight of that entire movie. She's really great here. She and Haley Steinfeld have such great chemistry, and that is not the last we are going to see them together. They are the new Hawkeye and Black Widow. We are probably going to see them together a lot, and I'm very excited because they worked very well together. Echo is also a very big character in the show, though not in the finale. She's going off to get her own show, and I have some predictions about what's going to go on with that show. Uh, I think that Obviously, Kingpin's going to be back. Uh, at the end, you see him get shot. And by the way, Vincent D'Onofrio is so good. Daredevil's one of my favorite shows of all time. And seeing him come back was absolutely amazing. And I think he's going to be the villain of the show. He's not dead. It, the exact same thing happened in the comics. She holds up a gun to him, shoots him. They don't show it. And then you see him on in the comic pages later. And he's got... Uh, stuff over his eyes he just goes blind and then gets he gets his vision back anyway he's gonna stay alive and anybody who thinks that he's not is wrong they just brought back Vincent D'Onofrio for a reason he's gonna be a pretty big player in the future of the MCU I also think Matt Murdock has a huge chance of showing up there though I think probably more of a chance in She-Hulk than anything else anyway I just I loved this, and that final fight, pretty much all the fights in this show, I thought were very well done. The last episode is just full-on action sequences, non-stop. I loved all of the Yelena ones. I thought those were the best ones and the most well done. Her little moment between her and Clint at the end was great, and it was very emotionally impactful, and I thought it was really cool that you got to see both of them get some closure. Her fights with Kate was also really great as well. Kingpin and Kate's fight was very, very good. And I just think a lot of the writing for this show was really good. I didn't love the post credit scene. Uh, that's kind of the thing everybody jokes about. Uh, I We didn't need to see an extended three-minute sequence of Rogers the Musical. But it was okay. I know that there are some people that are really going to like that. So good for them. Yeah, so... I thought there was a lot of big twist moments in this show. I, I'm very interested to see the future of Echo, Kate, Yelena, Wilson Fisk, and also uh, also Kate's parents, uh, her mom at least, and then also her stepdad, who is very likely to become our swordsman in the future. And I think that'll be very, very interesting. We also get to see that Laura Barton at the end is most likely Mockingbird. Not necessarily the Bobby Morse one from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., though. I think that show is everything but completely not canon. And I think that she could just be a different Mockingbird. And I think that's a really cool moment 
considering the fact that in the comics, Hawkeye, I believe, is married to Mockingbird. So that was really cool. I'm excited to see the future of these characters, and I'm excited to hopefully get a season two. This seems like the type of show that would get a season two, though I'd bet it's much more focused on Kate Bishop in season two. Even though she was very clearly the female lead of this, uh, I think it'll be way more Kate Bishop and a lot less Clint Barton in the next season. So thank you all for watching. Overall, I thought the show was very good. Be sure to subscribe and make, also be sure to like this video. I got a couple new videos coming out of being the Ricardos review and also an upcoming Don't Look Up review and Matrix review coming tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Again, thank you all for watching and see you guys.